All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm, it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Boy, Ty Plump. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you 
as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Oh, single collar tie here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Nice kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's turn. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right hand landed. All right, he'll engage in a single collar angle right there. Beautiful transition. Nice one, two there. And that one certainly found the target. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Battle for position here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh! Big elbow there. Straight punch lands. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's stock. Beat the leg up. Right hand punch the punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And just misses with that big right hand. Battling for hooks. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Beautiful head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the clinch. Final seconds of round one. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Hey, hey, stop! All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Take a seat, bud. Deep breath. Breathe into that nose, out to that mouth. All right, here's some water. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. 
Back and forth we go. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Shot is blocked there by Choi. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Look at the turnover in that kick. Single collar tie now. Wow. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Just out of range. Lands a switch knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful punch. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Choi's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Trying to double up on that jab. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! oh! There by Choi. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Superman punch now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, what a punch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean... You would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strikes.
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick there by Choi. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Punch over the top. Oh, a little single collar tie there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Choi's shot there is blocked. Big hit, kick land. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Big power shot there. And he lands another punch, DC. He certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. What a tricky head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Beautiful strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Muay Thai plum. Blocks the shot. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Nice kick. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not take it. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Big punch land for the middle. Choi going for the takedown here, but he misses. Straight right, he misses. Oh, eats a knee. Real quick leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Nice body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. He 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. The opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And they separate. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Switch, he lands to the body. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. What a punch. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Visibly limping here. hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. That knee might have landed there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Once again, employing the knee. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. That knee might have landed there. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, found a home for that knee. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. 
Oh, collar tie. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Seconds left. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Joy gets caught by the elbow there. Ooh, what a punch. Lightning fast that right in. Whiffs off the straight right hand. Nice jab there by Choi. Not there. And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Leg Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. And there comes the separation now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Big kick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. Not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. It's a big knee. Two minutes now to go in this one. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Whoa! Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Down into his mouth. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Kuzminka. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, right to the mouth. All right, less than a minute to go in round five. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good, solid strike on the ground. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Beautiful kick. Slips that left hand. What a body kick. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Single collar tie now. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.